All right, Elite Legend back at you with some new additions to my Marvel Legend collection. I only have two shelves, I'm limited shelf space, going to be adding a third. But for right now, we're going to take a look at some of the new figures that I've just added this week. And we're going to take a look at which ones are going to be lucky enough to get into my display. Um, over in the front row, you see the new Carnage. You also see a quick little fix-up that everybody's been doing. It's some Cletus Cassidy on a... DC Universe uh, Multiverse Lex Luthor body. Uh, we have another Multiple Man. This is my third Multiple Man. I think I'm going to stop at three. I feel three is enough. I um, also have Nova. This is the early days of Hasbro, of Marvel Legends taking over um, from Toy Biz. We have the Hasbro uh, Nova. I sold the Guardians of the Galaxy version about a year ago. I also have the new Malekith. I got that in the trade along with um, Agent Venom. Agent Venom has two of his original guns. I don't have the other two. If anybody has them and you want to sell them, let me, let me know in the comments below. Have a old school Toy Biz Incredible Hulk. Also have a variant of Sasquatch. You see the bad boy in the middle there. We see Mojo. We see Scream from the new monster Venom wave. And we see Eddie Brock himself as he is morphing into Venom. So now we're going to take a look and see which of these figures are going to be making it into my display. This shelf that we're looking at is at the very bottom of my um, shelf to the right. Um, this shelf, uh, as you see, it starts off with the, some Agents of the Shield. We see our um, early Toy Biz Captain America. I have to have him in display somehow. Um, we see a Dum Dum Duggan that hasn't been um, finished. Uh, you gotta work on that head. Uh, here we see some various shield agents and a mandroid. Now, over to the right, this is an area where I just don't really have anywhere to fit these guys in. Um, have uh, my black suit Spidey, some of the. I'm not really into the Spider Verse, um, but I do have some Spider Verse figures in here. Um, this is where, um, as you can see, I have my Sasquatch. Um, we, we are going to get the new Red Guardian. I still want to get a Puck. want to maybe get myself an Alpha Flight, customize a few figures. But for the time being, um, this is where I have my Sasquatch. Initially, I did have the original um, Toy Biz Sasquatch. Uh, but I decided to go with the Build-A-Figure as my Sasquatch. So the white variant is going to end up being fodder. Or um, just might end up going in a different display. Now, keeping with this being kind of like a random shelf, uh, I don't really like to have more than one representation of a figure on my shelf, but I figured I'll have this Cletus Cassidy in here just for just for the just for the hell of it. I'm going to put him in here. Um, this might just turn into a duplicate shelf at some point, or I am going to add a third one. So maybe I'll just have a a little duplicate section for the figures that I really do like having, but don't have a spot for. So we're just going to put Cletus Cassidy right in here next to. Superior Spider-Man, right in front of the Superior Venom. And now we see this Toy Biz Hulk. Only have one Hulk in my display. Uh, I really do like this Hulk. He doesn't have. He has a basic T joint, but he does have some good articulation. He looks like a pretty good, pretty good Hulk. I, I never had him. Feeling a little bit nostalgic, so I'm going to put him right here on this duplicate shelf. Right in front of Sasquatch. There. Kind of. Kind of helps fill this shelf up. So there we go. Alright, and now we're looking at what is my favorite shelf of my display Spidey's Rogues. And this shelf, you see all of Spidey's villains. Well, not all of them. Uh, most of the Spidey villains that I have. Uh, we also see Spider Man and Mary Jane. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put them on a flight stand. I'm going to have a web, and it's going to be basically Spidey making a quick getaway. You see up in the front row, we see Carnage and his daddy, Venom. Um, this, um, I do have two figures that I was, I was was that could potentially make it to this shelf. We have the newest Carnage. 
But you see, I, I kind of like this one here. Got to tighten that pose up. This one, I'm going to put him in a special spot. So we're going to hold off. So I'm going to have two carnages in my display for now. And then we have this Venom with the Eddie Brock head. This is more of a baby face Venom. So this this actually is the Lethal Ven lethal Defenders um, version of Venom. So I'm going to put him in, a, in another spot as well along with that carnage. So this shelf goes unchanged for the time being. All right, now we have the brand new Malekith. Really like this figure. I only got two figures, well, only one or two from the wave. So far I only have one, I still need that Black Knight. So as we see here, we have Malekith. I have the San Diego Comic-Con version back there. I really like how this one's a little bit more colorful, and as you can see here in the Thor villain section, this could really use a little bit of color, so I'm going to end up going with this uh, Malekith in my display over the previous San Diego Comic-Con version. So now, as you can see, the new Malekith has just taken his spot in the shelf that is reserved for Thor. Um, and also Underworld characters. I have Death's Head back there because I didn't have anywhere else to put him. But um, this is the older Malekith. Gonna find, gonna, he's going to go off into the Land of Exile toys for now. But eventually at some point he should make his return. I want to switch things up. Another reason that I picked this Malekith is I like the blonder hair. This one is a little whiter hair. I, I do prefer this hair and it's a little bit more colorful. All right, so now on this shelf, over to the right we have my Masters of Evil. And on this side we have some villains that I just don't have a place for. Now, this is where we're gonna go ahead and add, we already see Lasher in here. We're gonna add another um, spawn of Venom. We're gonna add um, Scream in there. And I'll tighten these poses up at some point. But we're also gonna add this new Carnage. I love both Carnage figures and I have to have both of them in my display. So here comes Carnage. Eventually I will work on uh, the other uh, two spawns of Venom. So keep an eye out on the videos, on my videos for those. I'm going to be working on those. I already have the recipe in mind. All right, so so here you see this shelf is um, done for now until my cat comes and knocks things over. Um, but I'll tighten these poses up. But for right now, this is how things are going to stay. You see Scream and Carnage joining Lasher. And eventually I will work on the other two um, members of Venom Spawn. All right, and speaking of Venom... We have Eddie Brock, the Lethal Defender. Um, as you can see here, this is uh, my kind of my Daredevil, Defenders, um, Magia, The Hand, um, Serpent Society. So this is where um, I decided to put my good guy Venom, the Lethal Defender. As you see him, he's there. Um, I have him with his Agent Venom. Uh, accessory but we are going to actually go ahead and add Eddie Brock in this form there Eddie Brock has joined the defenders shelf that leaves us with agent venom had him originally sold him got him in a trade and need his original guns if any of you guys have them if you want to sell them uh, hit me up in the comments and I'd be happy to get them from you, purchase them from you. But here we have Agent Venom about to join my my Defender shelf. All right, so as you can see, Agent Venom has just joined uh, the Defender's shelf. This shelf, the poses really need to be tightened up. Haven't had a chance to spend much time on these since they're so low to the ground. Uh, I'm gonna start working on these. I'm gonna make it a point. Uh, but as you can see here, um, adding added to the shelf, we have the. Eddie Brock Venom, and we have the Agent Venom. All right, so now we're taking a look at my uh, one of my favorites, one of my top three favorite shelves, 
we're taking a look at the X-Men. And I added my third and final multiple man, so we're going to add him here to the display. Deadpool out of the way a bit. Move the new Psylocke out of the way. And hopefully there is no figure side happening here today as we add multiple man here. Alright, so there we see multiple man added to the display. The display is pretty overcrowded. I'm going to be adding my third shelf as I mentioned already. Probably going to be splitting these up a bit. Alright, so now we see the old school Nova being added to my um, cosmic display. Going to add another uh, flight stand in here. Maybe going to split these guys up. Um, it's a little overcrowded in here, but there, really love this shelf, how it's coming together. Got my Fantastic Four, got my Cosmic guys, got my Doctor Doom in there, Thanos, Gladiator, Silver Surfer, some scrolls. Really love this shelf. Alright, so I finally added Mojo to my collection this weekend. And as you can see, Mojo is getting ready to um, join the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So gonna find a spot for Mojo. All right, so now we see Mojo found his rightful spot in the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Really excited about this display. I noticed when I was posing her that Lady Deathlock has two left feet. Not because she's a bad dancer, she literally has two left feet. Um, can't wait for the new Mystique to come out. I do have the new Hasbro Sabretooth, but this one actually defeated it in my last of it, Marvel Legends video. But now we have Mojo and all of his sexy glory here on this shelf. Alright, so keep supporting the channel. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what figures you like. Let me know how you feel about this Mojo. Let me know if, if you agree with the figures that I have in each one of these displays. If there's anything that you want to take a closer look at, let me know. If there's any figures that stand out to you, let me know. I, I, I'd love to sit down and, and discuss my collection with you guys. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, make mine marvel.